protest is underway at this hour against housing asylum seekers at a former private school on Staten Island. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is live outside St. John Villa Academy where protesters are starting to gather. Lisa. Well, Dana and Dick, this is the latest of several protests in the last week after residents here in the Arrow Car section of Staten Island took the city to court over the issue. Ultimately, Friday, a judge ruled that asylum seekers can stay here. Now, organizers for this protest originally called for thousands to come out tonight and celebrate their First Amendment right to peacefully protest. You can see people are starting to gather right now. Now, this comes after last week. Hundreds had showed up protesting. Testing. The city says St. John Villa Academy can hold up to 300 asylum seekers, but right now the city tells me there are only 22 staying here. We're told this includes single women and families. Friday, a bus dropped off the first guests, but then they were moved out after a group of lawmakers and residents sued, and a judge issued a temporary restraining order blocking the city from using the site. A few hours later, the city won an emergency appeal, so some people were brought back. We spoke with some residents. Before the protest began, I live five minutes from here, and what's going on? It's a shame. It's it's shameful. I'm sorry to say they didn't come here the right way, and they don't belong here. I mean, we have kids in this neighborhood. There's schools by this neighborhood, and I'm sorry. It's just shameful that mm -hmm. this is happening. It's not good for they're the kids, vetted. you know, and they're, they're not vetted. A mayor's spokesperson tells us less than 2% of asylum seekers in the city's care are sheltered on Staten Island, in part saying New York City has been left largely alone to deal with a national crisis that demands difficult decision making. But let's be clear, the sites we are now finding are the only options left. This situation demands a broader state and national solution. As for the case here regarding St. John Villa Academy, they will be back in court early next month. We're live in Arrowcar, Staten Island. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.